Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be tidying, cleaning and organising the chaos that is accumulating to make it look more like this. This is how I want my airing cupboard to be. I don't want to be putting clean sheets into a dusty, dirty cupboard so I thought I'm going to tackle it and that floor. Also going into the bathroom to sort out the shelf in there because that is becoming really overwhelming. There's just so much stuff there, some of it we don't even have anything inside the bottles so need to clean that out and give that a good salt over and just make it more organized we are also going to be tackling the washing machine area although this feels like it's an area that's never going to be tackled i mean i do get there a little bit but i'm on my third load today and i'm still overwhelmed with how much washing i've got so if you're like me and you've got a house that includes so much washing don't stress it I've also got this area here which really bugs me because it's like a dumping ground for everything and then if I leave it then it becomes a dumping ground continuously. Yep, I have a Sainsbury's basket. Many more of those coming in this video, let me tell you. So I'm starting with the airing cupboard because, you know, I never actually think to myself, I'm putting clean bedding, clean towels into this cupboard but it's so dusty and you'll see that in a bit because when I start sweeping it all out, you can see all the little specks of dust that accumulate in front of the camera light. Absolutely vile. But anyway, I'm in here, I've got the hoover. I'm absolutely terrified because I think I'm gonna press a button or I'm gonna pull a wire. I'm either gonna electrocute myself or yeah, I'm gonna do something to the heat in or the hot water and I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Nick's at work, so I need to be extremely careful. Going round the actual boiler itself, do you know, I love when this is warm. If you don't feel well, give that a cuddle. God, it's amazing. Anyway, decided to start with the bottom once I've given it a good um, hoovering at the top. At the bottom, I don't know how Lego gets in here. My kids have never played Lego in this cupboard, so how does it get in there? The white substance in the bottom left corner there is shaken back. I remember spilling it a little while back and... Um, yeah, I thought, well, it's in the cupboard, it's fine. I can't be bothered with it. But I'm really tackling it today because it is starting to really just play on my mind every time I go in there. Here are those dust floating around in front of the camera light. And it's just like, goodness me, I'm so glad I'm doing this. All sorts was coming out of here. There was bolts under there. There was Lego, little bits of toys, sweet wrappers, standard. And yeah, my shaken vac, which spilt, but it's really coming along and I'm so, so pleased that I've started doing this. I feel so much better for it. I'm spraying my cloth as I do these pipes and whatnot because I don't want to be spraying something I shouldn't be spraying because knowing my luck, I will spray a plug and it will just be like, oh my goodness me. Yeah, I'll electrocute myself or I'll um, trip the plugs and we'll lose electricity. But it does feel so much better giving it a good going over, especially this, look, when you actually see it, look. Oh, I felt like I was cleaning a train here. I don't know why. I have really strange thoughts that go through my head, especially when I'm cleaning. I love cleaning away, just away with the fairies in my own little world. I just find it really therapeutic. So this won't actually come up clean. It'll always have that sort of cooked tinge to it because it boils up water. But... Decided to take all the shelving out, which I'm really glad I did. Only I do get a bit confused with myself because when I start putting it back, it's like a puzzle. I didn't realise that all the different wood slats were actually shaped particularly for each individual pole. So yeah, I did get myself into a little bit of a minefield, but it was really nice to give them a clean over. I didn't realise how bad they were until I got in there and started doing it. The thing is, when you're cleaning and you've got certain areas that just don't get your attention, look at my puzzle. It then becomes like a, I don't know, it just becomes a bit of a, I don't know the words for it, but once you do it and you organise it, it makes everyday sorting out so much more easier. Like once I've organised it all, I know that when I've done the washing and I start putting all the laundry away, I know where it's going to go. I know where it all is. And when I change the beds, I know exactly what is where and if we have it available. But yeah, absolutely worn out there. Look, I managed to do it. I felt really chuffed with myself after this. And I'm going to sort out each individual thing. Really satisfying this was. Just going through it all and getting it all neatly. But I do have quite a bad... 
a bad bit of OCD. So if a pillowcase is like sticking out a label or it's not folded, I'm doing it now, if it's not folded properly and there's like a bump in it where the hook of the pillow goes over, yeah, I will unravel it and start again. It's really annoying, but I just sort of deal with it. Then I'm putting the actual mattress sheets on this side. So pillowcases in first, mattress sheets, duvet covers on the top shelf, towels will go next to it. And all the things that just don't get used as often go at the top. But look at that. What a difference. And I don't see any of the dust flying around either anymore. So I've I've done a good job there. I'm giving myself credit. And look, I've got a co-op basket as well. Don't ask me how we got these baskets in the house. Actually, I should tell you because they're actually really funny. I'm just taking everything off the shelf at the moment so I can have a good sort through, see what it is that we need, what we don't need, what is just empty and left on the shelf found a toothbrush don't know why that's there don't even know whose it is kids toys and guess what more lego can you believe it i have no idea why lego seems to be such a thing but the reason we've got baskets in the house is because one day nick came home from tesco and he was like i got to the van and didn't just totally forgot i put the basket in the van i was like fair enough and then the Sainsbury's basket, I think was myself. Yes, it was. So I was doing a late night shop and I was so tired, this, that and the other. I didn't have any bags, forgot my bags. I spent all my money in there. I couldn't afford to buy another bag and I didn't really want to just take a bag. And if they say, oh, you need to pay for those, I'd be stuffed and I'd look like an idiot. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to take the basket. And I did, took the basket home. So here's the Tesco one as well. The reason we have a co-op one is because when Alex and Jensen went down to the shop just before Christmas because they wanted to do a bit of Christmas shopping, they were walking home with the basket and it wasn't until they got halfway home they went, oh no, I've still got the basket in my hand. I found it absolutely hilarious. But there we go. We've got some baskets in the house that we should really return, but I'm not returning them. I've cleaned all the bottles and I'm putting them back on the shelf and getting it all organised. So shower stuff in one section, my stuff in another, shampoo at the top and all the little accessories at the bottom like bath bombs and whatnot, sponges. There we go. So much better. Although there is a corner at the bottom of the shelf which really bugs me. It's, it's wooden so it's soaked water. It shouldn't be there. But there is these um, patches where we get this mould collecting on the on the edge in there so I'm just going to spray that it's really good to clean everything that you use so all your cleaning equipment if you clean them it's really good idea because then it's just you can just use it straight away again and you haven't got to think oh I've got to clean that before you start another job because when you have those moments where you think yeah I need to do this but I need to clean this first it kind of puts you off doing the job in the first place look at Nala laying there she absolutely loves herself she does she is like the queen of all cats she is the high and mighty. So I'm sorting out the washing at the moment. And what I'm doing is I am going through clothing, towels and bedding and whites. So getting it as a bit more organised as I can so that I know where everything is and what I've got to do next. Next is going to be whites so that I'm ahead of myself in the game. Yes, because it is going to be back to school on Monday. And I'm, if I've got it all cleaned way before I'm normally doing it, which is a Sunday, then I feel so much better. All these like cloths that I get from like home bargains and that, I just put them in the washing machine on a hot wash and use them again. So I'm tackling this awful corner of the front room now. I hate it. And I'm not going to lie, it's been here since I'd say mm, probably November. So I don't even know what's in here. If we've lost anything in this house, the chances are it's in here. Anyway, I'm having a look through it. Loads of stuff's been added to it since like pyjamas and socks I don't know how socks get in there, but they were there. And I'm having a little look. I found my lights that I forgot I had. I found my, oh, one of my favourite lipsticks. I was absolutely over the moon to find that. And loads of Pokemon cards. That's another thing. That's bordering on Lego, is finding Pokemon cards. So taking all that out now, winding up that extension lead and going in with the hoover. Oh, look at it. We've actually got a walking space now. I'd like to get a little table here, actually. Put a little plant on, a little spot that you can put the remote control and whatnot. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. If I do do that, then it doesn't become a dumping ground yet again. Chances are it probably will. But I covered the plug before I started to spray because I'm really paranoid now. I've got it in my head ever since I've been in that cupboard. But look at the after. 
love that need to give these walls a good paint over again yeah that's another job for another day and the washing machine's ended so out with that and in with the whites I cannot stand it when I pull socks out of the washing machine and they're still inside out. It makes me feel physically sick. Like, do I actually put my hand into somebody else's sock and pull it out while it's wet? Ugh, it's grim. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in my next one.